Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. This is how my hair naturally air dries, just super curly, super poofy, big, and I have no product on my hair. Today, I'm going to try out a very requested, very, 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 very requested hair tool that is so trendy right now, so popular. So I was like, if you guys wanna watch this, I'm gonna buy the tool and I'm gonna try it out here in my channel. So if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload a video. I upload a lot of hair tool videos like this one. So if you end up liking this video, um, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to be trying out the Maxi Glide on my natural curly hair. This retails for about $150 and i got mine on sale i think they have a sale going on right now i'm gonna link it down below just so you guys can check it out but i got 30 dollars off so it was 120 and i got like a bonus gift so i got this brush and i got a lot of clips and the nice ones so this is a little bit over one inch the plate um they also have two inches like a two inch plate which is huge I wanted to try that one, but that one was a lot more expensive. It was almost like $200, I think. So I was like, nah, I'm just going to stick to this. <laughs> I use one-inch straighteners all the time anyways. So this is even a little bit bigger than what I usually use. So, ooh, here it is. Oh, my God. So I just plugged in my Maxi Glide. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to put it up to 250. I'm going to put it on 250 just to see what it's gonna do to my hair and then i'll go up okay so i'm going to use this section of hair i'm gonna brush it so that there's no knots i'm going to press the button and start from like three inches down you're not supposed to completely close the plates um for the first pass which is with the steam and then you're supposed to go over it again without the steam and close the plates completely i hope that makes sense um but that's what the instructions say so let's try this Okay, let's try this again. I definitely hear the steam. I just can't really see it. This is supposed to add moisture to the hair. Um, I mean, it does feel very soft, but let's try it without the steam and see what happens. So I'm just gonna go all the way from up here without the steam, without pressing this button and let's see what happens this is at 250 degrees fahrenheit okay so i put you guys back a little bit so you can see all my hair but wow okay that was with one pass at 250 not bad at all it looks pretty straight i'm gonna do another pass nice that's very nice let's try one pass without the pins I'm going to put them back in and let's see how that feels because I do feel like the pins, they're like detangling my hair, but I just hope it's not pulling my hair. So let's try this. Okay. 
yeah that feels a little bit more comfortable or just like a little bit more i'm just like more used to that so let's try this section of hair i'm gonna do it at 350 degrees fahrenheit and i'm gonna press this button for the steam so let's do this so again it has to be about three inches away from your face i guess maybe so that you don't burn yourself so let's do this so I'm not completely closing the plates. Yeah, I definitely feel, I can see the steam now, for sure. Okay, wow, nice, wow, that, that's a lot of steam. Oh my God, did I see that? Um, okay, yeah, that's very nice. I think, yeah, it looks very moisturized. I really like that. Now let's try it without the steam. I'm going to press the plates completely and I'm actually going to use the pins. Let's see what happens. So I'm just slowly bringing it down. Wow, look at that. Ooh, it looks so shiny. The pins, I'm not a fan. I'll tell you guys that right now because I'm just completely honest with you guys. I don't love the pins because it kind of pulls my hair. Like as you can see, here's one hair. Here's another one. So let me try it without the pins and let's see how I feel about it. Wow. Look at that. So the highest heat setting is 450. Let's do that and see how that works. So let's do it at 450 with the steam and then without the steam in a new section. So let's do this. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'm completely closing the plates. I'm trying not to, but yeah. Wow. It feels so soft. It feels very soft. I think the steam does help with the hair just feeling softer, looking shinier and more hydrated. Now I have to go over it again without the steam okay wow i gotta go over it one more time because i don't think it's like completely straight let's see Wow, this gets super hot, like super hot. I mean, it's at the highest heat setting. I think it looks really, really nice. Very shiny, super shiny. I gotta go over the ends a little bit. I'm gonna do another section of the front just so that you guys can kind of see it better. I feel like the sections in the back, you guys can't really see too well. So yeah, as you can see, I still have to go over it one more time. Let me do that. So I'll be honest with you guys. I like how it looks. It looks super shiny, actually. It looks very nice. I don't know what it is about the straightener. I think this right here, like all these lines right here. When I'm going over the ends, I feel like it's almost pulling my hair. But I'm going to go over the ends just one more time and try to give it some shape because it's just a little bit see like right there it just kind of feels like if it's pulling my hair so i'm not a huge fan of that so like the ends don't look that great do you guys know what i mean as you can see but let me try flipping the ends because i did see that you can flip the ends and create like this 
you flip the ends like this and you get like a really nice wave so let's see what that does oh wow <laughs> that's cute like the ends do not look that healthy if you know what i mean you see that yeah that doesn't look healthy and guys i got a haircut last month i mean my hair is healthy and i use other straighteners that make my ends look a lot healthier so it's not even that like if i knew that my hair was not healthy then i would let you guys know like i would be like okay yeah definitely it's my fault my hair is just not healthy right now but i mean it looks really nice it does look nice it looks very straight actually very very straight like if you even compare it to this side i mean come on you know maybe i'm asking for too much but i just want my ends to look a little bit more healthy i really want to flip the ends my ends look ugh. my ends look fried I know I always test out hair tools, but I really do take care of my hair and I do haircuts like every three months. I am really on top of that because I really want my hair to look healthy in my videos and you know, I do a lot of hair masks, put a bunch of oils on my hair. I really do take care of my hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys with another straightener, like the straightener that I always use. I'm gonna show you guys how that straightener leaves my ends because this one is just not doing it for me okay so i'm back and i have my go-to straightener so this is the ghd platinum plus i know this is a lot more expensive and i know that this is 250 dollars and you know that's that's a lot of money but i just want to show you guys kind of what i'm looking for in a straightener and kind of how i want my ends to look because i just don't want my ends to look unhealthy you know so let me show you guys what this does to my hair okay that's with one pass and let's do another one So I'm just going to do one more pass just to focus more on the ends and kind of flip them a little bit. So as you can see, this is what that section looks like. It's very shiny. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the ends look a little bit more healthy in my opinion than this one. This is the Maxi Glide. As you can see, the ends look a little bit more hard. But yeah, Maxi Glide GHC Platinum Plus. I mean, this side is still really nice. I will say that it is still really nice. I just feel like the ends don't look all that nice and guys even if i go over with my ghd i'm just going to show you guys kind of like how i can fix it with the ghd right here i'm going to show you guys real quick how i can fix it i don't know if you guys can see but right there like already it's starting to look a little bit better a little bit healthier a little bit shinier has more shape too, the ends. See what I mean? If I go over it just a little bit. I think it just looks, in my opinion, it looks a little bit better than before. I just feel like this is a little bit overrated but i'm gonna finish my hair because i mean maybe i don't know maybe i'll like it more towards the end of the video so stay tuned i'm gonna keep using it i'm gonna finish my hair and i'll be right back okay these yeah this is just not helping at all it gets 
stuck like it kind of like tangles my hair even like the hair that's up here gets a little bit tangled with that hair you see you see you see you see you see you see that <gasps> yeah i do not like that at all like with this one it wouldn't get tangled as you can see it wouldn't get tangled but with this it does a little bit right here it does a little bit <sighs> I would love this tool if it did not have that design. I just I don't like it. Anyways, I'll be right back with the final look. Okay, guys, I am done. As you can see, it looks pretty sleek. I think it looks very shiny, actually. But I'll be honest with you guys, I don't love this hair tool as much as I thought I was going to love it. I think that this is very trendy right now, very popular. But I feel like you can find a straightener better than this one and for less money, like way cheaper. I think I'm going to return this because this is a hundred. Well, it cost me a hundred and twenty dollars. I'm not gonna use it again. I already know I won't unless I'm gonna film a video. But I have other straighteners that I like more. Even the Tymo straightener that is only $40. I prefer a lot more than this one. My hair feels, for the most part, very soft. But the ends don't feel that great. And the ends just look very fried. Like, they just don't look cute. But yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. And I wanted it to be like more wow. Like, more like, oh my god. I don't know but overall it's not bad my hair looks fine i can totally go out like this i think it looks completely fine but i do have other straighteners that kind of give me a better look especially on the ends um but i do feel like my hair looks very shiny and it is very soft so yeah that's my honest opinion i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a video and if you liked this video then i'm sure you're gonna like these videos as well so make sure you go ahead and check out those videos bye guys love you